What's up guys, Zach here from CodyMadeSimple.com. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys what new game developers are doing wrong right off the bat and how they're misguided and how they won't achieve success using this algorithm that is plastered in their minds to begin with. And I'm going to show you guys how to break that. I got to be honest with you, I still do this. So um, let me know what you guys think of this sort of style of video. You know, I can definitely go back to tutorials, but I'm just experimenting with this style of video because who knows, some of you may like it. Um, so let's go ahead and begin. What are new game developers doing wrong? So I'll, sh I'll show you right here a quick algorithm right on the board. It's very simple and it starts with this right here, this box. And essentially what this box is, is a big game. So that's number one right there. You know, when you're new to being a game developer, you're not coming in to the game developer world to create Pong. <laughs> you, you know, you're just not. You want to create a really awesome game that not somebody would want to play, but you want to play it yourself, you know? And that's coming from a rich Call of Duty background, you know, maybe an MMORPG background where you're like, wow, like what if the game just had this or that or this? Let me, I can make a game like that. Let me go into it. Let me start development. You know, I'm still learning how to code, but let me start development on this big game, right? So that right there, they start development on their FPS shooter. All right, we'll call this 3D FPS. All right. So they're like, yes, let's do it. Two months go by, whatever. And uh, it doesn't work out. They lose motivation, they give up, they uh, lack of fun funding, uh, lack of team members, lack of art assets, whatever, it doesn't matter, they give up. All right, so then what do they do? Well, they move over to here, to their next project, which is a big game all right so they're like yes let's do it you know I got this RPG that I've been thinking about doing for a while now I'm ready to do it I've learned from my last project that I failed on so let's go ahead and do it a couple months go by it doesn't work out all right so they go you know what I got a great idea I got a great idea I'm gonna move over here And I'm going to create an even bigger game than the two I failed at. And this is going to be great. It's going to be insane. This is going to be an MMO space RPG. Because I gave up on the concept of this RPG, so we're going to do another one. All right. So they start going through it and they, you know, they start to realize, wow, you know, MMOs are pretty hard. I actually don't know how to do that. I thought it would be easier to learn. Doesn't work out. All right. So let's see where this is going now. Let's see where this keeps going. We're going to go down to here and this is going to be an even bigger game. All right. Maybe it might be a little bit smaller, bigger, depends on the person. And they say, we got a great idea this time. It's awesome. It's going to be Minecraft, but with space creatures. And it's going to be awesome. And, you know, I'm just going to put down Minecraft. I, don't, I can't even read that. Okay. And then what happens is it doesn't work out. And you get a complete circle. <laughs> And this circle will continue over and over again. You say, you know what? I don't like the Minecraft or the MMO. It didn't work out. Let's go back to the 3D FPS. And it continues on and on and on. So how do we stop this cycle? And some of you guys may not be in this cycle, which is cool. But I've seen a lot of people that are. And that's why I want to make this video. All right. So how do we get out of this cycle? Well, we start off by erasing it. Here's something I've been preaching for a long time. Don't start big, start small. And I know it sounds boring at first. Why am I creating a Pong game to begin with? Or maybe not a Pong game, but you get the idea. 
Why am I doing this? Why am I doing that? It's because you learn the art of execution and you learn the art of publishing. When you go into a huge game and you have not yet published a single game onto a Steam platform or any platform you like, whether that be console, then you don't even know the process in which you're doing, yet you're going to spend years and years developing this, right? So what if the consoles don't like this certain piece of code and you base your entire game off of it? You don't know that, all right? Unless you do your extensive research, which, you know, people that hop into a 3D FPS game typically aren't doing their extensive research on the platform that they're going to be putting it on, typically. All right, so we're going to start small. And by the way, I haven't, I haven't even uh, uh, perfected this algorithm because I still like to make big games. I'm only human. But, um, and not finish them. This is a small game, all right? And you're gonna start out with just yourself, maybe one other person, all right? That's so much blood that you're looking at right there, all right? Then you're gonna move up. And you're gonna go to another small game, all right? You're still gonna be with you, just one person, one to two people, all right? And then you're gonna go up. Let's see if we can get room here. We're gonna make another small game, cool. Then, you're gonna create a medium-sized game. All right, and this goes on, right? You go down. You're gonna create a medium to large game, but now you can increase the amount of people working on this game with you. Now, you have four games, whether they're successful or not, you publish them and you know the market, you now can afford to put some funding into your video games. Right? So let's go down, let's make another medium to large game. All right, same team. Let's go over here, let's make a large game. And let's maybe increase the amount of heads working on this game. All right? We'll go back up. And we'll make another large game. And you see how we're not going in circles now. We're not going in circles of unfinished products. What we're doing is we've got a solid base of five to six games here that are uh, uh, eight, seven or eight, uh, that actually work. You put it out in the marketplace and, and it, it works. It works. Um, so now you've successfully started by developing small games by yourself to have an entire team with a plethora of games behind you. That's how you start up a game company. That's how you start up a studio and that's how you can start to uh, develop your career in the indie game community. Now, of course, I'm not saying this is how you have to do it. Um, you know, I'm still in the process of this chart. I'm still in the process of it. So I haven't even completed this myself. There are plenty of ways to do it, but this is just showing you one example of how you can't get caught in this loop of not finishing products, not creating big games. Um, you can create the big games, but only after you perfected the art of execution and publishing. Those are two main things. All right, so take a look at this list or, or this algorithm, whatever you want to call it. Take of it what you will. Visit CodyMadeSimple.com to learn more. My name is Zach. Peace.